this one would be probably a good game for ASMR videos. Um, I just got it, so, you know, I'm not awesome at it. I'm not a pro. <laughs> uh, but I thought it would be cool to fly around some of the areas um, near, I'm in Seattle, and that's the most you'll get from me <laughs> as to where I'm in. It's a big city, but uh, yeah, I figured we could fly out of SeaTac, uh, which I think is right here. Just fly around 
Seattle, show you the different neighborhoods, talk about stuff, and uh, later on I'll, I'll probably do a video, whoa, so it just, it didn't even have me take off from SeaTac, I'm just like, out, where am I? Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, it just, wow, it just dropped me off right here. That's crazy. Is this really what the cockpit looks like? There's not a lot of, you can't really see a whole lot there. Um, okay, let's, let's just go into airplane mode here. <laughs> Camera, external, there we go. Wow, that's, that's a lot going on there. That looks to be, I'm really bad at flying right now, but that in front of me looks to be Mount Rainier. Um, wow, look at the engine over there. There's two engines. So I want to try to throttle up. We'll see what happens. I'm pushing to F3. I want to go real fast. Because we're very far away from Seattle currently. Um, this is this is pretty cool though. Alright, I think this is... Airspeed's at 250. 260, I think what I saw was that it would go up to 400 or something. Okay, so the airspeed is still increasing. That's pretty cool. I believe. So, let me just level out and I'll pull out the cursor. Okay. So this is... Mount Rainier here. Uh, let me. Is there a map? Let's pull out the map here. Yeah. I think these are other planes, huh? Are those people? That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, this is Mount Rainier. It's 14,000 feet tall. Um, I believe that that is Mount Adams. Could be Mount Hood. Sometimes you can see um, Mount Hood. And I'm, let's see, my altitude's at 7,000 feet. I'm gonna start hitting mountains here if I don't. I gotta pull up a little bit. Because I know. Wow, that's pretty neat. Oh, I think my computer just. It's not. Can't handle these graphics. I think this might be coming over the, uh, hang on, let's see, let me look around a little bit, so this might be the sun, sunrise area, possibly, yeah, so this is the highest place that you can drive to uh, in the state of Washington. If I'm correct, this is this parking lot is six thousand feet up. There's a really cool like old building here, and there's some hiking trails that you can go out. Um, I've done this one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I remember. I remember walking by this lake, and then you can walk up here. I think I made it to about right here, but as you can see, you get some pretty epic uh, views from right there, because you're just right at the, the, the base of the volcano. There are also like, there are a bunch of chipmunks in this area, and uh, I was just like sitting there eating almonds, and they, <laughs> they just uh, came up and started like taking almonds out of my backpack. They're, they're brave little, fearless little chipmunks. Okay. 
things. Let's uh, let's unpause. Actually, let's get it straight again. So. See if I can see any other volcanoes. No. Okay, and if that's the case, I think Paradise is on the other side of this like anvil looking rock. So let's see if we can see what Paradise looks like. Still going up. Let's level out a little bit. Not sure if I'm flying this thing right. <laughs> wow, these controls are pretty bad. Oh my gosh, I'll have to. I'm gonna crash into this mountain. This is not good. <laughs> this jet is very. It's like a bit harder to fly. I think. Okay. <laughs> Let's just pause real quick. sizes while you're driving to it. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where Paradise is, but that's fine. Let's just, uh, oh, actually, I think that's it right there. I'm about to crash into some mountains. So let's look down. This is kind of the road up to Paradise right here. And there's a couple of like really pretty lakes. And you know, if you park here and then look across the lake and you know, you've got a big giant volcano. So you get some pretty cool pictures there. It's a couple lakes. And then that's Paradise. So it looks like in the picture here, um, it was kind of wintry or like early summer, probably early summer, because I think in the winter even this would be like snowed in. Uh, but in the early summer, there's some snow by the parking lot. Late summer, you can probably make it up to. 
to about here um, without uh, without encountering snow. But then, you know, obviously as you get up higher, you're going to run into snow. And, um, I mean, you people will park um, down there. They'll park down here, and they'll walk all the way up to the top of Mount Rainier. They start from Paradise. But there is, and I, I'm not sure where it is here, um, up at about 10,000 feet, which is the highest you can get to without... Um, volcanic pass, volcanic permit, or whatever, um, there's a, it's like a hut, <laughs> and you can sleep there, kind of acclimate before your, your climb up, so, zoom out a little bit here. I guess isoline. <laughs> Not familiar. <laughs> I think if I just turn this direction, I'll be good to go. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh, I'm going to crazy fast and I'm, I'm dead oh no I broke the world <laughs> I don't know what to do in this scenario um yeah and the flight <laughs> okay let's anyway let me see if I can the view of, of Mount Rainier. <laughs> Got a nice scenic valley here. <laughs> From an upside down jet crash. Alright, so let's... I'm going to start over. And, uh, but that was cool. It just started me off right near so that was that was pretty cool I like it go back to the world map try this again that was my probably third flight so don't uh, don't judge me <laughs> let me just uh, drop down here so as departure and we're gonna fly the jet so hopefully hopefully this time it'll let us take off from the runway <laughs> to try the, the glider sometime. Let's see if I can manage to fly and, and not crash this time. But yeah, I need to get like the, the stick and the all that. I'm already I just got this game and I'm like already all in. <laughs> got like a spot on my cheek. I don't know where it What's, what the deal is there. <laughs> okay, now we're actually starting from the airport. There's our jet. Because I don't need to let it run through this showreel here. So, I'm just going to scoot the microphone up a little bit. I think this is, is the best sound. I don't have any sound turned on from the uh, the jets or from the game, but you could just use the uh, my computer fan um, <laughs> to to as the noise. Okay. So let's see. Release the parking brake. It's control and numb delete. Parking brake is off. Apply full throttle and keep the aircraft straight. So full 
full throttle, huh? I don't, uh, I was, I was used to the other. I don't know what the throttle looks like here. I'll just keep pushing the button until... Okay, so maybe I need to pan out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just, uh, let me... Here we go, camera. External. Okay, now I've got my, my throttle here. And I think we're probably... Probably good to pull up a little bit, right? Airspeed's like 200 miles an hour. So, let's pull up a little bit. It does not seem to be working. I think we might die. <laughs> no, okay, whoa. Holy crap. That was way too much. Go back down. I'm starting to wonder if fly this plane differently or wow I just shot straight up and now I just I just want to be flat I just want to be flat don't stuck don't go all the way back down be gentle with me please okay we're going down goodness okay let's pull the throttle down a little bit we're going. We got too much throttle, right? We're headed south, and I want to head north. Let me see if I can at least get the uh, get leveled out. Three. Okay, our altitude seems to be stable-ish. A little less throttle. Seems like now we're turning. Are we losing altitude? No, we're gaining altitude while we're turning. A little less throttle then, maybe. This thing isn't quite fast. Give it some more. Okay. <laughs> Gonna break it. See, now I think we're... We're like down in, in Tacoma at this point. <laughs> oh my gosh, this this airplane is difficult to control. Okay, let's go down a little bit. I don't know how to control this thing. <laughs> there we go. I gave it less throttle and it seems like like it enjoyed that. Okay. Got the Tacoma Narrows. Yeah, wow. We flew all the way down to C Tacoma in this thing pretty quick. So let's uh, let's get back up to Seattle. We're losing altitude, but that's that's fine. again but uh, not in a jet it's interesting that 
budget is very difficult. <laughs> That's wild. No, it's a, it's a jet ski. Okay. Let's start over. I just wanted something that was like kind of fast. Maybe instead of a fighter jet, which is like really nimble, I can I'll get like uh, the big jet, right? Like, um, let's see, or maybe it doesn't have to be a jet. This. 330. That's pretty fast. Let's, let's go ahead. And yeah. We can go start there. Let's do that one. Okay. Same spot. <laughs> departure fly I just want to go to like downtown Seattle <laughs> the fighter jets uh it's cool you go really fast but it's it's a uh, I'm not good I'm not good at it yet and I just kind of want to go downtown <laughs> and talk about the little Seattle neighborhoods and stuff and then probably in a, a separate video I'll do a uh, I'll do one where I fly out into the mountains and talk about like the different uh, mountain peaks and the hikes and things like that. But let's see if we can get a flight into downtown Seattle here. Okay, let's just fly. We'll do the park and break. Control delete. throttle up. So let me just, the cockpits, it's like they're different. I, whoa. It's, it's gonna send me off. I don't know what to do here. Oh, snap. I'm like wrecking before I even start. Okay. It looks like we're pegged out. <laughs> that was a horrible takeoff, but it, it's fine. There we go. Okay. I don't... I don't know if y'all can hear that, but there are some kids just like running down the hallway. Seems, seems like we're gaining some altitude. Um, raise landing gear. Okay, is it doing that for me? Because I don't know how to do that. How do we raise the landing gear? Well, I guess we're just going to fly with it down. Let me... Back in the cockpit mode here. Camera. Come on now. Okay. Cockpit. Let's see if there's a. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh. It's just, I'm just gonna fly. Flight assistant. Auto trim. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, let's just go out to the camera. Oh, press G. off 
from SeaTac Airport. And, uh, oh gosh. So this plane is definitely, like, less tricky to handle. slow turn here. Let's see if we can head head on into downtown Seattle here. This is the Puget Sound area. Um, the Puget Sound was carved out by glaciers. Um, it's quite deep in some places. Uh, you actually see submarines coming through here. submarines are actually able to um, travel through the Puget Sound underwater. Uh, which is one of the few areas that they can do that in. Okay, so we're gaining some altitude here. Oh gosh. It just kind of... I wonder if this does like wind conditions and stuff. Because it just like blew over all of a sudden. And I think, so this right here would be Mount Baker, off in the distance there. Cool. I think we're very high. We're 5,000 feet up. <laughs> I want to stop climbing. I want to level out a little bit here. Flying right back over SeaTac. Seattle area. Yeah. So this is Emerald Bay here. This will be like where the downtown area is. There's like ports and all that. Then this is Lake Union. And this big thing here is Lake Washington. This island is Mercer Island. Um, it's a bunch of rich people that that live there. A lot of really nice houses. Um, it's pretty cool. I think I see another airplane down there. That's pretty cool. Okay. I want to go a little slower. See if I can get down a little, a little lower. I don't know how slow this airplane can go without like <laughs> crashing. So I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Okay, it's really. Maybe I should have stuck to the little Cessna. <laughs> These faster jets seem to be a bit more difficult to control. like it's not doing anything. Am I going to crash again? Okay. Now it's leveling out. Cool. Not too high. Okay. I think seems like the throttle has more to do with elevation than like um gosh come on I should have just gotten the Cessna again I think we're we're losing airspeed <laughs> and climbing okay Uh, before we crash, let's 
zero G rides. Okay. I got it leveled out. Feeling pretty good. Cool. So this is just like a bunch of trains and stuff. So this is the Fremont Bridge out here. This is the Ballard Bridge, which would make, that would make this Ballard. Looks like we're gonna 
fly right over Discovery Park here. Yeah, so maybe we'll we'll stop right here. This airplane makes no sense to me. None at all. <laughs> okay, let's... I just want to go straight. Man. <laughs> okay, I guess let's just do a loop-de-loop.
Okay, that's... It really... It doesn't take much. <laughs> it's like when I try to turn, I'm losing altitude. Quite quickly. Man, jets are... I guess the faster you go, the harder it is to fly the airplane. Does that make any sense? Are you a pilot? Are you watching this right now and terrified? Is that the case? The faster you go, the harder it is to fly. And if that's the case, it must be really difficult to fly like a, an F-18. Oh my gosh. Or, I don't know if, the, if there's probably there might not be an f-18 but like an f-14 i know it's really it's definitely a thing okay okay <laughs> oh man i'm so bad at this why is it going up <laughs> okay it's leveling out There's like some kind of AI that's like trying to take over and it, it's just like, hey, you're a terrible flyer. You're, you're bad at piloting. Don't do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on, come on. Overcorrecting. I mean, I, I like that I'm flying a bit lower. I would, I would enjoy just like flying straight. Why is that so hard? <laughs> is that, is that so much to ask for? Here. Oh my gosh. If there were people on the ground right now watching me fly, I'm sure, I'm sure they would be terrified. Okay, okay. I think. So it seems like maybe, maybe there's just a good speed <laughs> uh, for these, for, for an airplane. And then also maybe I don't know what the uh, five button does. <laughs> okay, let's pause this because this is a, a new area that we haven't been to yet. So this is Green Lake. Um, if you come to Seattle, most of the time, you know, people think that like, hey, this downtown area, this is where all the cool stuff is. But I will tell you right now that that is not the case. Um, this area right here, South Lake Union, it, there's some cool stuff there. Queen Anne right here, there's some cool stuff there. But a lot of the cool stuff is actually right along this canal. Um, and then Green Lake is a very cool area. It's, a, it's beautiful. There's a walking track all the way along uh, Green Lake here. I think you, you can rent kayaks and things like that. There's a lot of cool restaurants. Um, and there'll be people like painting in the park, uh, rollerblading, ride, riding bicycles, music. I, I was riding my bicycle there one time, and there was just somebody like... Uh, a couple of people like playing violin, classical violin music. That was really cool. Um, and then this area here is uh, the university area, university district. Um, very cool spot. Uh, this is the actual university. And you can get a pretty good, um, well, let's see here. There's a, a pretty cool picture you can get um, at the university. I guess you can't see right now because it's like, well, let me see if I can change the time here. Weather. Let's go like 10, 4, 5. There you go. So now you can 
see. So there's a spot in, uh, at the university here. This this whole, this area kind of looks like Hogwarts or something. But there's a fountain, and down the way, um, if you if you get in the right spot, Mount Rainier is off in the distance there. That's pretty pretty cool. Um, there's also like if you come when the cherry blossoms are blooming, uh, that's a pretty cool time. That's I want to change the time just a little bit earlier. The, the sunsets here are amazing. That is that is accurate. Okay. Let's see if I can fly a little bit um, more. I need it to be like a little brighter. I do enjoy a good sunset. This area right here is Gasworks Park. Um, if you watch the movie Ten Things I Hate About You, this is where they like threw the paint filled balloons at each other, uh, which is not actually something you can do at Gasworks Park. <laughs> That's the college area. This is the Fremont Bridge right under here. See? It's like literally like right in this corner underneath the bridge is the troll. Where also from 10 Things I Hate About You, um, they like meet under the bridge and they're like having a conversation instead of in front of a big stone troll. And that troll is right there. It's like holding a beetle, a Volkswagen beetle. This whole little neighborhood is like really cool. There's good food. Um, there's like an underground vintage store in this building here that's really great. And there's a walk path that goes uh, next to this canal. Uh, people hang up their hammocks and, and just kind of hang out there. There's also, I think right here, a chocolate factory. So this part of the neighborhood actually smells wonderful. It smells like chocolate. So I managed to fly a little bit without dying. I'm flying pretty low now. This airplane's handling really weird. <laughs> Maybe it's just like my computer. Oh, that's pretty cool. Get a nice sunset view of downtown Seattle. You can see the wheel down there. <laughs> and then like this old pointy triangular building there. That's a pretty cool spot. Then we can fly over uh, Bellevue and I think Uh, it's still the nose 
this is going up, but I don't know why. <laughs> Next time I'm just going to fly like a little passenger plane. Okay. Okay, we got that figured out. Flying a zero gravity jet here. And still... Still going down. Oh my gosh. Okay. And just let's just let's go fly straight here. Anyway, this is uh this is Bellevue. That's it for me today. This is my longest video to date. Um, <laughs> next time we'll uh, fly up towards Mount Baker, go out into the mountains or something, and uh, I'll, I'll practice. Oh, actually, that looks like Mount Baker there. But yeah, I'll practice so I get better. <laughs> it's still stalling. 